Hey friends, what is up? How y'all doing? I'm trying to situate things here a little bit. Make sure I have everything positioned because once it gets messy, I won't be able to move stuff around. If it gets messy, if it gets messy, <laughs> there is that. Um, hope y'all are doing well. I am situating things a bit more because I did not um, <sighs> do as much um, putting together or whatever. Oh, I should not have done that. There it goes. Okay. I, for some reason, swiped away comments. Yeah, there's that. Um, hope y'all are doing great. It is September 9th. It's kids night, so I won't go into tons of details on things happening with me because there, of course, this would be like in one time there's like tons of things I want to vent about, but that's okay. It's okay. Kids don't want to hear that. So because it's kids night, I know in the past I have started kids night with, um, yes, I'm cleaning because that's what I do. I have started kids night with a couple jokes, but this time since... I have two slime recipes I want to do, possibly one more. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go straight into our drink. And, because, and this is not your, your drink. This is my drink. Yep. Hi, Linda. I got Bethany and Linda. I'm excited. And I know I've got several other people that are going to pop in. Um, anyway, tonight we are making a slime punch. I think, I mean, I know the slime craze has been around for a few years now. I don't know if it's still like as popular as it was a couple years ago. I mean, they were selling out of Elmer's glue. I mean, it couldn't keep it socked. <laughs> so I don't know if it's still as popular as it was, but I mean, what kid doesn't love slime? I mean, come on. So anyways, I've got two recipes tonight that we're gonna try, possibly one more. And, um, one is edible. We'll, we'll test that out in a minute. Okay, so first, we're going to make a slime punch. Okay, slime punch. I struggled with a couple of the, well, not a couple of the ingredients, one of the ingredients. Um, for slime punch, you're going to need some lemon lime soda, you know, Sprite, um, what's it, 7-Up? Yeah, whatever the, you know, equivalents are in whatever generic brand. I do have the generic brand of Walmart. I got it twist up. I don't care. It's the same stuff. Um, lemon lime soda, a cup of lime sherbet, and sherbet, 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 sherbet. It doesn't have two R's in it. Anyway, I could not find lime anywhere, so I got a... Um, one of those that has lime and lemon and orange in it, I'm sure it will be fine. And then a cup of pineapple juice. So, okay, first what you're gonna do is you're going to take your one cup, one cup of lemon lime soda. I'm gonna apologize if I seem a bit um, frazzled because it has been uh oh, and I'm probably gonna need another um I mean another cup. I mean I've planned well there. And then you're gonna need one cup of pineapple juice. There it goes. Now let's we'll see how this happens. But yes, if I am a bit frazzled, it is because it was a very busy weekend. It was a very difficult weekend. Okay, so hopefully that is good. Anyways, you're going to take your pineapple juice and your soda, and you're going to gently stir the two together. There we go. Hey, Rosemary. Okay, so there we go. And I've got my shirt, sh sh sherbet, sherbet. See, I've called it sherbet for my entire life. It's sherbet, sher. Someone give me a pronunciation. I know it's not sorbet. It's not sorbet. Sherbet. Either way, just say, let me grab that from the freezer. 
like I said, I could not find lime. I got like a combo thingy. And it's supposed to be about a cup. So you're gonna drop that in there and let's hope it does not overflow on the top. This is your slime punch that you're supposed to put a cup in. So one cup lemon lime soda, one cup lime sherbet. Yeah. And one cup of pineapple juice. There you go, that's it. And then you're going to stick yourself a straw in there. Now that's supposed to be lime, so if it starts like changing the colors, just remember if it was green, it's probably going to like change it green or make it even gooier, slimier looking. I don't know, either way. And then if you want, you can top it with gummy worms. I'm going to do orange and green because that's what color my sherbet. <laughs> well, I promise. I know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to mix it all together. Now, I probably shouldn't have dunked them under there. Now, let's taste this. Because essentially, it's just Sprite and pineapple juice. I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong there. But once that ice cream starts melting, all it gets all creamy and gooey and lovely and awesome. Yep, yep, there we go. All right, I do too, my goodness. Sour gummy worms, again, I've said this in the past. When it comes to candy, I am, um, the only time when I'm like, ooh, it's my favorite candy in the whole world is when it's dark chocolate. And dark chocolate can be mixed with anything. And then um, gummies. Gummies are like my favorite. So any kind of gummies. Okay, tonight we're going to make two types of slime. And if I can breeze through these really quickly, possibly one more. And it depends on how messy the second one is. Hopefully one of these is edible. We're going to try it. We'll see. But this first one... The picture I shared at five o'clock, it was an example of this first one. So I have tried this one. I have not tried these other ones. So, okay, for this one, I'm gonna call it unicorn slime because guess what? That's what it is. For unicorn slime, you need, this is super simple, super, super simple. You need glitter glue. You get a bottle, you can get them at Walmart. Elmer's glitter glue. You need the six ounce bottles. Now, you need one for each color you want to do. Since it's already pink, you're going to want um, a couple other colors. If you only want pink, that's fine. But um, you need one for each color that you want. So if you want pink, you get pink. If you want blue, get blue. Okay, so you need a six ounce bottle of Elmer's glitter glue. You need one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. You need one and a half teaspoons of saline eye drops. Now, here is the thing. You can get them at, excuse me, sorry. You can get them at, um, I got actually these at Target. Two bottles for like less than four bucks. The thing you have to remember when you're getting um, saline eye drops, the most important ingredient in order to do this slime is you have to make sure it has sodium borite, borate in it. Okay, that's not gonna, okay, it's just gonna be borate. But you have to make sure that it has sodium borate or boric acid in it. It will not work unless it has that in it. So contact solution, eye drops, um, boric acid or sodium borate. Make sure that is, but again, you only need a small amount. If your parents use that at home already, use eye drops for the contacts already or for their eyes, guess what? Just check to make sure it has the ingredients because you need a very small amount, that's it. Then a spoon and a mixing bowl. Okay, I promise this one's gonna go super, super easy and super simple. Okay, you're gonna take your Elmer's glue. Now you have to do this for each color that you're doing. You cannot do all three together. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to take this six ounce bottle 
of Elmer's glue and squeeze it all into your container. I cannot carry a tune in the, a bucket, so we're going to um, just go with it. There we go. Get as much out as you can. I, um, as far as I know, the it's you don't have to be too exact on these um, ingredients because you can kind of work with it. Okay, then you are going to take one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So one teaspoon plus a half teaspoon. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a spoon and you're going to mix that glue and baking soda together really well, really, really well. Now I mentioned earlier that we were gonna make an edible slime. Guess what? This is not it. You will not eat this slime. So if there are any kids watching, don't eat this. If you do, you can't blame it on me because I'm telling you, don't eat this. Okay, right, so you're gonna mix it really, really well together. Let me make sure that I can get squeeze whatever I can out of this. Yep, that's about as much as it is. Like I said, get as much as you can out. No big deal. You can't get it all. Mix it really well. Now that. Saline solution, guess what? You need one and a half teaspoons of it as well. Now, when you add this and start stirring it in, you're gonna notice that your slime comes together really quick. Really, really, really quick. You ready? So there we go. And it's just gonna start balling up. Yep, there it goes, just like that. Super quick, super simple. And I was a pre-K teacher for years, and we had all these other fancy schmancy res um, recipes. None of them were ever this simple. I'm just telling you that. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. And then, guess what? You can pretty much just throw your hands in there and mix up. If it's still sticky, throw just a tiny bit more of that saline solution in. And just start working it in. Mix it up. Look at that. If it's still sticky, it's still a little bit sticky. Just a tiny bit more. Mix it up. Now, I did try this one earlier. I have not tried the other ones. But I did try this one earlier because I said it was unicorn slime. The only way it can be unicorn slime is if we have other colors. So, okay, I've got my pink. There's my pink. I'm going to roll my pink out into a long line. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this evening. Like I said, I made this earlier today. I got blue. I don't know if I could send this to anybody. Because I would hate to throw it away after, but at the same time, I um, don't want to throw it away. I, I don't want to throw it away, but I don't know if I could send it and send it, mail it to somebody and it um, get to them in, you know, without drying out or whatever. Oh, no. Okay, so there's my unicorn slime. Look at this. So if I want to, I could, like, you know... When I was a little girl, I wanted to braid. I wanted to braid really bad. So there you go. Uh -huh. Yep. Unicorn slime. Throw it together. I'm going to play with it later, so I'm going to undo it for now. That way so I can go back and play with it later. And I'm going to separate it just in case it molds. It does kind of mold together. So once you mix it, you want to make sure you really want to mix it. Okay, I've got, where did my other bowl go? I had another bowl. All right, anyways, I have another one. This is the one that I think is, um, this one is edible. I know it is. Oh, there's my bowl. All right, this one is edible. 
because it has marshmallow fluff. This was a recipe I have not tried, so we're going to cross our fingers and hope this works. This is the one that I asked you guys for colors earlier. You need a container of marshmallow fluff. Here's the problem. The recipe that I found did not state a size for um, the marshmallow fluff. So I'm guessing if they use a bigger size, size this could be different and marshmallow fluff is incredibly sticky. So we're going to cross our fingers that this works out well. If it doesn't, guess what? We're gonna end it right there <laughs> because there's only so much I can do. All right, marshmallow fluff. So with this one, you're going to need marshmallow fluff. How many times can I say that like in one, yeah, time? All right, and then you're gonna need powdered sugar, about a cup of it. Um, and then food coloring if you want to color it. This is the one that I asked for y'all's votes. Okay, marshmallow fluff. If you want to, you can do it inside this container if you want. I'm going to put it into this bowl because apparently I probably should have just done it in the container. <laughs> yep. Yep. Anyway, you're going to take your marshmallow fluff like I said, I haven't tried this, so we're going to cross our fingers. Marshmallow fluff. Then you're going to take whatever food coloring you want. All right. This looks like fuchsia to me, but I'm guessing it's purple. And, I mean, I'm a purple fan. Oh, my... This is going to be one of those that, yeah, it's going to get like super messy really quick. Yep. <laughs> Woo! Y'all get ready. I mean, because if you think about melted marshmallows, I mean, Rice Krispie Treats, have you ever tried to pull rice, um, melted marshmallows and Rice Krispies from the pan? Yeah, it's not um, all that easy. I'm doing this, um, I thought I had parchment paper. I thought I had wax paper, but I don't. So I'm putting this down to protect and make cleanup, you know, easier. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to take one cup of powdered sugar, one cup, powder sugar and sprinkle it across like I said we're using this because it's going to get messy there we go <laughs> Woo! okay and then it says that we're just going to y'all I'm I'm scared I have a feeling this is about to get really really bad like really, really messy. And I have no one here to like hit the like camera button. Cause I mean, all, we, all we've done is we've taken just, you know, marshmallow fluff and food coloring and tried to mix it together. Okay, and then it says that all we gotta do is just knead the powdered sugar into the mixture until the desired consistency. I'm going to hope, we're going to pray that this goes well. You see, I put it in there and then I threw the powdered sugar on top of it. That way, so hopefully when I pick it up, it doesn't make it as sticky. Yep. And again, ooh, yep, there it goes. I want to say this feels very similar to um, a recipe that I did last year. That, um... What is desired consistency? Because right now, I don't think this is it. <laughs> Woo! Okay, y'all. So, I am think that's a no bueno. It means it's not going to do well. I don't care how much more I... Yep. 
<laughs> there ain't nothing pretty about that. Okay, so that isn't going to work. So pardon me while I step over here and wash this off my hands, because if I don't, y'all are gonna be seeing this for the next like 20 minutes or so. And then we'll try my other recipe, maybe. Oh, this is a mess. This is what's fun about kids night because you just don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so it does not wash off easily either, so there's that. <laughs> Okay, so it is what it is. I still have marshmallow fluff on my hands. <laughs> Y'all, like I said, this is what makes it fun for me. I want to take recipes and test them out. People are, are sending, people are putting these things online. If I was in the pre-K classroom and I had just given my 30 kids that. Now see, I've got a purple dot there. Woo, if I give my 30 kids that, can you imagine 30 kids with that mess? I have slightly purple hands too. All right, because I have like eight minutes left, let's try this last one, which I think is the one that um, I have tried before in the past. Anyone still here? <laughs> if so, I love y'all. Okay, so let's go back and try our slime punch that actually looks kind of gross right now. Yep, it's good. It's still good. Okay, so, <laughs> oh, y'all, 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 y'all. Okay, this one is a quick, fluffy slime recipe. Shaving cream, school glue, just plain Elmer's glue, and baking soda, and Again, the contact eye solution stuff. All right, you need about two cups of the foaming shave gel, not, or the shave cream, not the um, gel. The gel does not start foaming up until you start rubbing it. So you need the shave cream. You need about two big cups of that. There we go. You need about two big cups of that. If you are still here, I love you forever. We need two big cups of that. And then what we're going to do is one fourth cup of white school glue. Yep. One fourth cup and where, there it is. I'm looking around like I can't find it. Then we're going to take our food coloring. Now I did purple before, so now I think this is yellow. It may be green. Either way, if you're still here, I love you. We're going to mix all of that together. That needs more color, doesn't it? We're going to mix all that together. So we got our shaving cream and our glue. We're going to mix it really well together and our food coloring. Now we're going to take our how much? One fourth teaspoon. Where'd it go? I have lost it. One fourth. Y'all is okay. I thought I had it to the side. I did not. Apparently. One fourth teaspoon of baking soda and about a tablespoon of eye drop. Wait. Yep, about one tablespoon of contact solution. Again, make sure it's got that borate, borate acid, that boric acid, whatever. 
Start mixing it all together. It says keep mixing until stirring becomes difficult. And there we go, fluffy slime. Now if you want to double the recipe and then um, divide it, double the recipe up until the point that you add your um, food coloring. That way so you can then divide it divide it into like two, three, four parts or whatever. That way so you can easily um, do two, three, four different colors, something like that. So if you, um, when it's still white, so what you would do is you do your shaving, make your shaving cream up and then, or so, okay, never mind. Take your shaving cream and divide it into um, two, three, four bowls or whatever. And then um, add all your ingredients to each and your food coloring. That way so you can have different colors and easily make different colored slime. Look at that, and it's picking up everything I just put on counter. Isn't that cool? Yep. Everyone loves some ooey gooey slime. Again, it, if it gets too sticky, just add a little bit more of that contact solution. That's it. Super quick, easy, simple, right? Yep, okay. So next week, let's talk about next week. So if you are a kid, this is not for you. Tonight was kids night for you guys. So next week is about, we're back to uh, moms and dads, friends, family, whoever is hanging out with me. Um, next week, we're gonna try something different again. I am gotten to the point where I'm fine with failing on Facebook Live. So um, next week we are trying some do-it-yourself scarves. I have some tutorials that I have printed out and I have not tried them yet. I've headed to the thrift store. I have bought a bunch of um, inexpensive t-shirts and we'll see what goes. T-shirts, skirts, whatever. But next week, do-it-yourself scarves and marble cake martinis. Love y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out. Hope y'all enjoyed it. See y'all next week. Bye.